Well, for more on the breaking news, we are happy to bring in Pat Fitzgerald, the head coach of the Northwestern Wildcats, who has been there for the entire run of Mark D'Antonio as head coach in Michigan State. Pat, what's your reaction to this news? Well, wow. Uh, you know, great respect for Mark. He's run an amazing program, and the on-the-field success speaks for itself. But the way that he carried himself and uh, ran his program, uh, the utmost respect in Evanston for Mark and, and, and his program. And Stacy and I got to know he and Becky well personally and just great respect for them. And uh, I wish him nothing but the best and going to miss him without a doubt. How would you describe your personal relationship with him? You know, we talked a lot uh, kind of behind the scenes. Uh, Mark had a great, I think, compass on what was right and trying to make the student-athlete experience uh, better and improved and, and always fighting to try to improve the Big Ten. So I, I really enjoyed our conversations. Uh, did not look forward to battling against him on the gridiron because it was always going to be a war, but uh, just a great, great level of respect for him and the job that he did at Michigan State with the championships and uh, bowl championships uh, uh, you know, speaks for itself. What was Michigan State week like? What's it like coaching against a guy like that? Well, double Advil day, you know. <laughs> You're going to play physical. They were going to take on Mark's personality. Uh, you know, that defense was always rock solid. And, and uh, maybe a couple of statistically lean years offensively, but that didn't make him a deep, a really hard challenge to get ready for. Uh, great talent. They were very well coached fundamentally and, and, and schematically, but maybe sometimes the stats didn't show that, but they were always a challenge to get ready for. And then that depth of talent crept over into the kicking game where they were always a challenge to get ready for. He took over a program that was almost historically inconsistent and made them very consistent. How hard is it to do that? I think that's the hallmark of a great coach. You know, it's one thing to win one year and, and, and then be, you know, maybe with some other guys' players or recruit a couple of difference makers and then you leave and you start over again. Uh, I've got the most admiration for the guys that build a program and then they see it through. And, then, you know, Mark's 13 years, what is that? You know, how many graduating classes that he saw that he recruited? And that's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, you listen to the way Coach always ran his press conferences and the way he talked to his players and his staff. Uh, he was about serving others. And uh, to see the way that he did it was inspiring and something that we try to emulate uh, in a lot of ways here in Evanston. But, uh, you know, do it our way and do it the way that fits our program. But uh, a ton of respect for Mark. We're going to miss him, and we wish him and Becky and his, and his wonderful daughters uh, – Nothing but health, happiness, and, and a lot of fun. And since he's retired now, the next time I see him, he's buying. <laughs> uh, you do open the season coming up at East Lansing in your first game of the year. How's it going to feel different? Well, it'll definitely be different. You know, you know, we have no idea who the next uh, leader will be in the program. And, you know, obviously that'll be a whole challenge for us getting ready schematically, but you know, the, the, the program that Coach D's recruited is phenomenal. Their talent is outstanding. Uh, and, and it's going to be a huge challenge for us, regardless of who's uh, the head coach. But uh, it'll be a little bit surreal for me. I, I remember Mark's first year at uh, Michigan State, and I think we played up there homecoming weekend. And I, I barely got a chance to say hi to Mark before the game. And he's like, yeah, first for new head coach, I had to go to homecoming this, homecoming that. <laughs> Uh, don't ruin the dance for me, you know. And I said, uh, I don't know, buddy. <laughs> so just a great guy, a coach's coach, and uh, someone that uh, everybody here in Evanston's got a ton of respect for. Pat Fitzgerald, head coach at Northwestern. Thanks for your insight on this. And, uh, again, tomorrow we'll have a seven-part live interview with you during signing day. Sound good? I, I really can't wait. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> exciting. But more importantly, Two weeks from now, we'll be in spring ball, and I'm stoked for that. Like I said, we're back undefeated. In the 2020, the Cats will be back. Pat Fitzgerald, thank you, sir. See you, buddy.